Hey, what's up guys? It's John Belcher here. Just doing this quick video for those of you who may be in a business like MCA or Herbalife. As some of you, as some of you already know, I've been helping a lot of Motor Club of America members crush it in their business. And I've also been helping a lot of Herbalife uh, distributors crush in their business by teaching them how to expand their business online to get more sales get more recruits more referrals and all that good stuff but in this particular video i want to talk about what the king of you creating the most sales possible in your business is and the two things that's king in business especially if you're trying to make money online is traffic and content right traffic and content see traffic is Basically, the amount of eyeballs, you know, interested eyeballs that you have seeing your opportunity on a daily basis. See, a lot of people don't realize that if you're not getting traffic in your business, then what that means is that barely anybody knows about your business. And if barely anybody knows about your business, then they can't join you or they can't take your business seriously because they don't think it's real, right? So the more people who see your business, who's interested in your business, the more money, the more sales you're going to make. But the, the next side to that is what do you do with the traffic, right? Once you get this traffic to your business, what do you do with it? And one of the main things that I really, really teach, well, two of the things that I teach inside of either of my training systems for both members in MCA and Herbalife is how to get traffic and how to create compelling content. It's very, very important. Tra traffic and content. Now, the traffic is the eyeballs that you need to come see your business and content is basically the information that's going to convert sales inside of your business, right? Two of those things, those are both of those are needed in any business that you're trying to, you know, expand online. And um, basically what content is, is some type of information or, you know, some type of uh, education that you're giving people about your business, about your products. Uh, even getting people to know who you are. That's a form of content as well. Branding is content as well. So I teach all this stuff to a higher level in my training systems and that's what's allowed me to be able to quit my job that's what's allowed me to be able to help and give back to other people who wanted to take their business from zero to 60 in a very short period of time and you know this actually makes me think about this story i remember a couple years back my aunt was actually she she had a yard sale right and she was telling me how it, she wasn't getting enough people to see the yard sale you know some people would drive down her block and you know they would come out get out their cars and then that's that would be the only sales that she would make and she was like John you know how do I get more sales I have a yard sale and I have these awesome products for sale but the problem is I don't have enough people seeing my yard sale and because I don't have enough people seeing my yard sale I'm not making a lot of sales and I said you know what I was like I'm so grateful that you asked me for this information auntie because I can tell you exactly what to do to help you increase your sales so the same way how you may have a business like Herbalife or Motor Club of America where you're trying to help people get started in or you're trying to sell products with, that's kind of similar to how a yard sale works. See, because where my aunt was living, the people would drive down the block, right? So those people was a form of traffic to her yard sale business. Makes sense, right? The yard sale itself was the content. Those were the products. That was the business that she had. But in order for her business to be successful, she needed people to see the yard sale. So what I told her to do, I said, aunt, I said, auntie, this is what you got to do. I said, you got to go to the nearest main street of your yard sale, right? And put up signs, put up a sign pointing to the direction of your house, leading people to your yard sale. I said, you can even go about a mile away, right? You can even go about a mile away and have a couple signs leading up to your yard sale. Don't just have your yard sale on your block and think that's enough. Go to the main street at the, you know, maybe that's a mile away or at the end of your block and put up a big sign on the pole or something like that, letting people know that there's a yard sale, right? Le pointing an arrow with a nice big sign, letting them know there's a yard sale. And I said, if you really want to take it to the next level, you can put another sign a couple blocks away from there and then a couple blocks away from there so that, you know, you may not have people coming down your block, but when, they, when they're driving down the main block, which is going to get the most traffic, right? Think about this for a second. If you're near main, if you're on a main street, that's where a lot of cars drive by, right? A lot of traffic, if you will, is driving by. So I said, auntie, just put up some signs on the main street that leads to your block so that when they actually get to your block and they drive down your block, they say, oh, here's the yard sale. But if you only have the yard sale without any signs, well, then that would mean people have to drive down your block in order to see that you have a yard sale. And that's the only way they can be interested. Well, guess what? When I told her to do this, 
Not only did she get more traffic, not only did she get more people coming to her yard sale, but her sales increased exponentially, right? And that's the power of understanding how traffic works. I could teach people how to do this offline, obviously, right? But my main uh, expertise is teaching people how to get traffic online. And then not only do I teach you how to get traffic online, but I teach you the strategies of how to convert that traffic, right? Because getting the traffic is half the battle. But a lot of people, some people out there, they get a lot of traffic, but to be honest with you, they don't know what to do with that traffic, right? They don't know how to get that traffic to actually convert. They don't know how to get that traffic actually interested in what their offer is. And then that's where I come into play and that's where I teach all the stuff that I've learned over the years teaching people how to get traffic on Facebook, how to get traffic on YouTube, how to get traffic on Instagram, you know, in the most effective way to attract your target market. Now, it doesn't matter if you're in Herbalife, it doesn't matter if you're, you're an MCA. The good news is that marketing is marketing. Once you're a beast at marketing, you could really sell anything because you'll understand your target market, you'll understand how to get traffic, and you'll understand how to create the content that you need to create to attract that, those sales to your business, guys. It is very, very important. So what I want to tell you in this video today is some two, the two main things you really, really need in your business is you gotta have traffic and you gotta have content. Once you have traffic and you know how to lead that to your content, you can convert more sales. You can get more people, more people interested in your business, more people interested in your products, and that's how you go from a zero to a six-figure income, right? That's how you go from struggling at a nine to five job being broke like I was five years ago, stressed out, miserable, behind on the bills, to being able to buy yourself a brand new BMW cash, to being able to quit your job, to be able to go on vacation trips, to being able to inspire the world and teaching other people how to become successful in business, guys. So what I wanna tell you is never give up on your business. It's not you, it's not your fault that you may not be getting the results that you want in your business. All it really is is maybe a lack of education or a lack of information that you don't have. And if you don't have the right information, well then you can't apply the right stuff to get the sales that you want in your business. So that's what I, one of the two main things that I teach in both of my training systems. I teach you how to get traffic. I teach you how to create content, the right kind of content that you need to be able to convert sales and all that good stuff because this is very, very important for your business, guys. So if you wanna be just like my aunt who increased her sales exponentially, at her yard sale because of what I told her and what I taught her, then make sure to look in the description of the, this video below. What you're gonna see is two links, right? You can be either in Motor Club of America, doesn't matter, you're gonna see a training system specifically teaching you how to get traffic and how to create content that converts sales. And you're also gonna see a, a link to the Herbalife Distributor Pro Training uh, for members, for those of you who are in the Herbalife company, right? And, and right now, at this time, I don't know if you know, but I know a couple weeks ago, my trainings were $97, but for a limited time right now, I'm running a, pr a promotion where you can get my training, you can get access to my training for a one-time fee of $25, you can get access to the pro trainings, and you can get access to all the training modules, all the knowledge, all the stuff that I teach you how to do step-by-step -step over my shoulder on my computer screen, guys. So without any further ado, my name is Jonathan Belcher. I'm a little tired, so I'm getting a little tongue-tied right now, but I will see you guys at the top. Make sure to click the, the link in the description below, and let's get this money, guys. This is John Belcher. Peace.